Aloha! <laughs> Hi everybody, this is John Schollenberger. Welcome to today's program. Today's program is going to be a lot of fun. We're visiting with Vailani's Polynesian Dancers. This is a wonderful group of young ladies who are learning the art of Polynesian dance. We're going to be speaking with Jungle Jim. He's one of the co-founders of Vailani's Polynesian Dancers. And we're also going to be speaking with Miss Eileen, the lady who helps shape and mold and teach these young ladies you see behind me the art of the Polynesian dance. So please, don't go away. We're going to be right back right after this. All right, I'm Jungle Jim with Bailani's Polynesian Dancers. We're out here in a beautiful Hawaiian day. The rain guys have blessed us. Now you know why the Hawaiians are always clean. But today we're volunteering with Bailani's Polynesian Dancers. Take it away, Islands of Tetiti Ote Teruve. Continuing on, Islands of Tahiti. Thank you. First time you can recognize and take those pictures. Polynesian dancers, let's give them a hand. I'm Jungle Jim. I hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, from all of us 
to all of you. Aloha, paea. people who breathe life into Vailani's Polynesian dancers. This is Jungle Jim and this is Miss Eileen and Jungle Jim is the co-founder of Vailani's Polynesian dancers. He's, he's the MC and he also coordinates all of their events and this special lady is Miss Eileen. She is the one who teaches these young people the art of Polynesian dancing. I want to start with you Jungle Jim. Uh, give us a little bit of the background of, of Vailani's Polynesian dancers. The name alone is where we would like to start. And okay. who was Vailani? Vailani was my wife, and Vailani was the one that put this together, was the founder who brought we, what we call the Aloha Spirit to dance. And, and she trained me and developed me in playing the music as she put together the shows. And she, we started out of our home about 1987 here in Temecula. Uh, prior to that, she did dancing all over the US and mostly in Southern California. And uh, her love of that uh, dance brought her to open her own studio, or her own business, teaching dance out of her home. And we did that for maybe 12 years until she developed cancer, breast cancer and could no longer continue with it and passed on. Uh, at that time, uh, my daughter picked it up for a couple years. And then Miss Eileen, who was one of the students, she's from Hawaii, took it on herself to continue the teaching and keep the uh, background and the history of Bailani's continuing. And we've, I've been blessed by the Lord to have this continue on with Miss Eileen at the helm teaching. And I coordinate and do the shows and enjoy life. And that's, we've been doing that for uh, 27, 28 years now. Now, I, I'd like to focus in just a little bit on Bailani. I was reading the bio mm -hmm. on the website, which of course is www.bailani'spolynesian.com. Bailani's.com. Okay. She is uh, originally was from Hilo, Hawaii. Correct. And she came to the mainland as a young lady, around 14? No, she was young. Very she young? Was very young, like five or six. Five or six? Okay. And then, and then in her teens, I think she started to, to do the, 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 the dancing. art of Polynesian dancing. She actually, now, according to the website, she danced for, for Walt Disney, Disney World? No, she danced for Nano Sinos, who had the contracts for Disneyland. Okay. And she danced for them. At the same time, toured with another group throughout the U.S. at Disney World. And when I met her, uh, we traveled around, and I actually just hung out in the lights and hung out as a boyfriend. <laughs> and, <laughs> and eventually, you became her husband. And eventually, yes. <laughs> I became her husband. And then she maybe actually taught me how, what the words were, Yorana, and the greetings, Aloha, and all that, and you, I, how to play the music. Okay. And we did spot jobs for Islands of the Sun, which we got trips to Hawaii for doing the, the shows. Wow. We did all the stuff through the uh, Vegas, Nevada circuit for a while. Okay. And then we did the LA circuit. And then she opened her own studio, and she was just a fabulous dancer. She just was so talented. And she had the best heart of anyone I've ever met. And uh, so she continued on with the, the philosophy of no matter who you are, she takes them on as a student and teaches them no matter what your ability is, she takes them in. And Miss Eileen has continued in that, uh, we call it the Aloha spirit and love for the dance. Okay, and that this is a perfect segue into Miss Eileen, uh, the teacher and instructor and guide of these young people doing this art of Polynesian dance. So again, when did you, when did you start this art? At what age? In high school. In high school? Or in Hawaii. Okay. Um, it's, you just do it. Okay. And then, so it, it's just there every day, you know. I actually, to be honest, you take it for granted when you, you're living in Hawaii. Okay. So when we moved out here 
in 93. Okay. I missed home, so I looked for something to bring that home to my heart. Okay. And I found my life. Now, when you say it's just, it's just part of the culture in Hawaii. Now, it's, it's, it's so much, not just a part of the culture, but there's a significance in the dance itself. In, is, it, is it for uh, expression or can, give us a little bit more of a background of, of what it's what of what more is involved when you when you do that it's a celebration it seems first hula is like a history Hawaiian history because they didn't have a form of writing back then okay so when you're chanting you're learning these songs you're actually learning the history of Hawaii okay the Hawaiian the, the kings and the queens the location and you know different just different events okay so growing up when there's an event or when you're you're celebrating something it's automatically you do a chant or you bless the, the celebration you bless the the person okay or, you know so it's at home it was just you just do it and you know, it's just hard to explain, you know, you just right. grow up. It's just a part of, yes, of part the culture, of part, part of who you are. Yes. But when I, when I, as a spectator and a viewer of it, I see the beauty in the dance, in the Polynesian dance. It's so beautiful because there's such a, a unique expression within the dance itself. So explain, if you would, some of the different type of dancing is involved, other than hula, and then you said there was... Ori Tahiti. Okay. Ori Tahiti is just place and dance. Okay. And we do Mori, just the basic. Mori pop, the poi balls. The okay. Mori poi balls from New Zealand. Oh, okay. So, okay. So those are the three that we normally focus on. So for the hula, when you're, as a spectator, you're just watching the surface. You know, it's oh. so beautiful. But my job is to teach my dancers the roots, you know, deeper, mm -hmm. which is the meaning me, you know the meaning of the dance, where it came from, and okay. all that. And then at the same time, hula or vainani is. I brought it. It's a platform for many other things okay. that people okay. don't see. Okay. You know, for example, like today, you know, we dance. We volunteered our time for Taste of Temecula Valley. Mm -hmm. Raise money for Temecula Education. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. People don't know that. And then you know, also it. Bring self-esteem to these girls. Yes, yeah. it teaches them yes. discipline, and you can actually come out of. If you're a shy person, it'll mm -hmm. help bring you out of your shell, and you don't have to do it alone. Yes. You can you have your friends, and and all of your your fellow dancers are there with you, together with you, which is which is really nice. In fact, as she just mentioned, uh, we are going to be showcasing that event today with with these young ladies and the dances and the various things that they did. It's wonderful. So. Um, Gosh, <laughs> we're, we're honored to have been invited here today to, to uh, see this event today here at the Taste of the Valley. Um, thank you so much for having us, uh, Jungle Gym. Thank, thank you. And come to our recital. We have two a year. We're all, uh, over 150 students perform free for the community. We uh, raise money raise for money. a local organization, Michelle's oh, Place. Yeah. Okay. It's a breast cancer research center. Okay. Uh, okay. It's just and Rancho Domicita are two yeah. places we all the money in our raffles go to the support. Uh, Michelle's Local place community. for yeah. cancer, they screen people for cancer and things like that in the name of Ailani. And uh, for real quick, Miss Ivy was a student under Miss, uh, no, Miss Ivy, under Vailani. Okay. And then as she just came up through with her abilities and carried on with the Aloha spirit of Vailani. So I'm she, so blessed to be with that she took that helm and went with it. It continues on. And we're blessed in the community to continue on. I have fun every day. Hello. Well, this is wonderful. Not only are you are you teaching these young ladies this art, but it's for worthy causes for people who really have a need. And you ladies are there. You're you're helping to to you're, you're expressing the beauty of the Polynesian culture, but yet you're helping to raise money and for very needy people. And, and I just that's commendable. It's family. It's family. It's family. Oh, yes. we're, we're a big family, and it's all for the heart. <laughs> and we do. We don't do it for the money, we do it for the fun. Even though I do get the girls paid occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> well, That's my job. The one thing I, I, I do want to say be, be, before we go is we, we, we want to say thank you to Bailani for, for, for doing what God told her to do. He's, he brought her here to bring that art 
to Somebody. the mainland, <laughs> right to the Southern mainland, California. and then that legacy is living on Correct. through you and through Miss Eileen. Right. Well, thank you so much again for, for having us, and we really enjoyed this visit, and um, what can I say, this has been a wonderful show today. We want to thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all again very soon. Until then, Aloha! Aloha.